We're um, conducting the first senior security managers training course with NCS4. This is part of an ongoing training that involves many countries. Um, we're getting the experience of those countries so that we can all benefit from it, learn from it, and put that learning to good use in 2022, as well as building a legacy for the world uh, thereafter. There are many countries here, ranging from Afghanistan through Fiji, through France, um, Australia, America. So the perspective we're getting is really different. Um, people are giving the detail of what they're finding on the ground, the tactics that they're using, the operational imperatives that they're finding. And that is absolutely fundamental when you're planning a major sporting event to get those different perspectives, to understand the cultural diversity as well. Um, so it, it stands us in very good stead for 2022 and I think everybody here is learning a great deal and taking that back with them and putting that into their own planning for their future events too. The intensity of the relationship between Interpol and the respective countries that Interpol brings and the experts that Interpol brings is obviously growing now and, and that's rewarding and we're building those relationships with experts as well over the years so the level of trust and the depth of um, conversation um, is, is really now very fruitful. Um, I think we'll see that at the conference in November um, but, but the conference in November is just a stepping stone to further development and we will see a series of conferences so that we can learn from the international community, so that we can show the international community what Qatar has done so far, what it's concentrating on, what it has yet to do, the fact that it is taking in this learning, it's not, uh, it, it's not for one minute thinking that you can do this alone. Um, and I think that that will build confidence in the international community and hopefully ultimately lead to advocacy about Qatar and its, uh, its promotion of the FIFA World Cup in 2022.